K Black News here with a quick video. Shout out to the whole LDBC the Lions Den basketball community. In this case, I'm gonna talk a little bit of NBA basketball today. Well, man, the Milwaukee Bucks has punched their ticket to the Eastern Conference Finals. Golden State Warriors has punched their ticket to the Western Conference Finals. A game seven will be played today between the 76ers and the Raptors. And the winner between them will advance to the Eastern Conference Finals to face the Bucks. And also, a game seven is being played today between the Blazers and the Nuggets. And the winner of that team, in this game seven, will advance to the Western Conference Finals and play the Golden State Warriors. We should have a good day of basketball today. But um, let me get to the topic that I really want to talk about. Out of all the teams that are remaining, meaning the Nuggets, Trailblazers, 76, the Raptors, as well as the Bucks. Do any of those teams actually have an opportunity or even a chance to beat the Golden State Warriors? Let's just be honest here. You know, even without Kevin Durant, even without DeMarcus Cousins, I did read an article that it's a possibility that DeMarcus Cousins might be coming back. Um, I don't know if that's 100% confirmed or not, but I did read that. But... Let's just say he doesn't, and let's just say even Kevin Durant don't even come back for the rest of the, uh, you know, rest of the way, right? The team that's on the floor right now, you know, Green, Curry, Thompson, Iguodala, Livingston, uh, Looney, and you know, and uh, you know the rest, the rest of the rest of the team, right? The team just playing right now, and I know uh, the Nuggets and the Blazers. One team is going to advance today as well as the 76ers and the Raptors, right? But this is say this all everybody just playing, man. Do any of those teams, including the Bucks, have an opportunity or a chance to truly beat the Golden State Warriors? The teams how they are right now. You don't even need to even add Durant and Cousins in this in this discussion right now. Do those teams have an opportunity to beat them? In my opinion, you know what I mean? And this is no disrespect to Giannis and the Bucks. No disrespect to uh, MB and Simmons and the 76ers. No disrespect to Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors, Jokic and the Nuggets, and Damian Leonard, Lillard and the Blazers. But in my opinion, none of those teams can beat the Warriors, even in how they stand right now. You know, of course, the Rockets and uh, the Clippers, they went to game sixes with, with the Warriors. So, of course, I believe the teams that's remaining can get some wins. I just don't think they can beat them in a, a seven-game series. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's phenomenal players on these teams. Um, Kawhi Leonard is a champion himself and an all-around player. Uh, the way that Giannis is playing, he probably even get the MVP this year. I just don't think that even if he advanced to the finals, I just don't think that they would be able to uh, to beat the Warriors, man. You know what I mean? Or even if the 76ers advance, I don't think they would be able to beat them as well. You know, I'm just being honest. Or the Raptors. And, of course, the Nuggets or the Trailblazers, they're going to have to go through the Warriors to even make it to the finals. And I know Damian Leonard can pull up from 30 and get a whole bunch of points. But even with all that, they're not going to be able to beat the Warriors, man. You know what I mean? I'm just being totally honest. Nuggets, you know, we go to Denver, it's Mile House City. You know, it's a different, um, even with a different aptitude, it's still not going to help their cause, man. So, um, unless something more catastrophic happen, like if they lose, you know, even more of their, um, some of their players, meaning the Warriors, I see them winning another championship, man. You know, and I know a lot of people, they still don't want to give Kevin Durant his props because, like I said, he went to the Warriors, right? And many people know and, you know, that the Warriors is just the best team in the league right now, you know. So that's one of the reasons why they want Kevin Durant to even lead the Warriors because they want people to, uh, other teams to have um, uh, you know, I guess to be even, I guess, you know what I mean? They just think that the Warriors have an advantage because they got all the all-stars on their teams or whatever. So, and many people don't want to give 
Durant is props to think that he's not the best player. You know, in my opinion, I believe right now he is. You know, but, you know, hey, everybody got their own opinion. But at the end of the day, y'all can give all these guys, the, the Kawhi Leonard's of the world, even the Giannis of the world, the James Harden, the Westbrooks, even LeBron's of the world. At the end of the day, the person who's holding up that finals trophy, you know, if, and Kevin Durant is holding up that finals trophy if he do come back and play, right? If he's holding up that trophy at the end of the year again, and have that finals MVP once again. The proof is in the pudding. That's all I can say. Because at the end of the day, that's that's what this is about, right? Winners. But anyway, who do y'all guys think have the best opportunity, if any, of the remaining teams to beat the Warriors, man? And you have, uh, of course, the Bucks who already advanced to the East Conference Finals. And you have who's left, the 76ers, the Raptors, the Nuggets, and the Trailblazers, man. This is K-Black News.